What's going on everyone, my name is Butters, and what if Pokedex entries were completely literal? Hey, I'm gonna go pick some stuff up from the shop, do you want anything? Uh, no, I'll see you later. Wait, whisper that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. Drifloon, Drifloon, what are you, what are you picking up? Drifloon, what are you picking up? Well, today we're diving back into another Dorkly's literal Pokedex entries compilation, because you know the deal? As soon as one of these gets uploaded, people immediately come into my comments section like, Bah! Why haven't you watched it yet? It was just like the same thing what happened with the Terminal Montage Bank Mega Battle Royale, which I didn't do a reaction to, which I just want to quickly just reference. I didn't do one because Terminal Montage specifically says, don't do reactions to my videos. I'm like, oh, oh okay. I, I, that's fine. I'm completely fine to respect that. Now that that has been cleared up, because people keep asking me and I keep explaining it in streams and things like that. Let's dive into the video! Doduo! Do hey. Doduo's two heads never sleep at the same time. Its two heads take turns sleeping. Take so turns one sleeping? So can always keep watch for enemies while the other one sleeps. I feel like the body doesn't okay, get rest that way. I'm gonna get some shut eye. Nerdy night head you, brother. Love you, you man. You take the first watch. Aww. A special uh, uh, variant double-headed Pidgey. <gasps> Get him, Charizard! Whoa. Oh, shit. Uh, I found some enemies, bro! Oh, dude, I just had the craziest dream that... What the hell? What the hell happened? Dude, My enemy watching chill, didn't okay? work out very well! We got enslaved by an 11-year-old with a yoke dragon, and now we live in this ball. I go to sleep for like one hour, you let us get enslaved? That is not chill, bro. Don't Come on, bro! What's up with the whole letting us get enslaved thing? What's wrong with you? Plans. While two heads sleep, one head stays awake. It's the this same is thing. It, bro, it's the perfect plan. The ultimate escape from a Pokeball. No one else has come up with something so clever. Until the combined minds of Dodrio. All right, who's joining He's me? He's literally right standing now? on it. It's time for this. He's actually standing on the plans. <laughs> to go to Nappy Town. This Dodrio is gonna do Dreamo. Am I right? Oh man, I just had the craziest dream. I was like, shit. Wait, what? A... Oh no, no, wait, are they in the PC? Yeah, They're in the PC Deidre. now, aren't they? Oh, chill, okay? The 11 year old who enslaved us has banished us to a virtual limbo from which there is no escape. On the plus side, because we are frozen in time, there is no longer a need to sleep, so we won't be caught unawares ever again. Nice. I have evolved past the need to actually rest my body. Also, my legs are very tired from having to stand up all day considering one of us is always awake, but at least I have massive leg muscles. Huh. Well, I guess. <sighs> okay, there's- uh, hey. Little teensy weensy not. That makes sense. Me. Dude, if you evolve past the need for sleep, most people would still sleep. If you didn't have to sleep, but it was something you could do by choice, would you still do it? Like, if you could stay up all the time, you'd be completely full of energy all the time. Would you still sleep? I feel like most people still would. Just kind of like, what are you gonna do all day? Play video game? Knife pouring on? Brother, no! Monikip. Monikip. Its power can crush boulders. It what? By covering itself Mudkip can mud crush boulders? Rhythm. That's ridiculous. Oh. Mud uh -oh. <laughs> I like mudkips. They get crushed easily. Why did it, why did it sound like that? Mudkip? <laughs> I'm a graveler. Don't I just sound like how a graveler would sound? What the hell? So weird. Head jump. Like Yo. Mudkips. As for me, I have a big crush on boulders. Marsh Stomp. Purple blood! We're learning today! The physiology of a graveler! Buddy, I think Brilliant. there's something real wrong with your Marsh Stomp. What do you mean? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Living on muddy ground that provides Jesus poor Christ. footing has made his legs sturdy. Yeah, that is a insufficient explanation. How much can you squat? Dude, those legs are insane. Is very strong. They, that's powerful it legs. Power it must be able to leg press like at least two houses, surely. Easily drag a boulder weighing more than a ton. This Pokemon also has powerful vision that lets So did the legs get weaker when it evolves water. or stronger? Because, yeah, look, the, those legs look weaker yeah, now. that's right. Swampert hmm. is Swampert. I can drag a boulder. Damn. Dragging boulders? Have you forgotten where you come from? Let me remind you. Uh oh. Sick, oh my dude. god! Wanna go for a run? Not really. Your old deal is very... Upsetting. Bro, the Marsh Tomb evolution line is cracked. Jesus Christ. 
It's like a rite of passage to explode the head of your dad whenever you reach a certain age in the Mudkip evolution line. Chikorita! Underrated mod, honestly. Very underrated. To soak up the sun's rays. Nice. Just sunbathing. How many get that? JD would love what this. What the fuck? What? That. What do you do? What do you? What? Sweet aroma wafting through the air. Hey, Satan. It smells so up? lovely. Yeah. George. George is my bitter hat. George, right? I yeah. want to get some candles for the condo that smell just like this. There's some huh. chicoria candles? Nothing bad is happening this time. Nice. That is positive vibes. We, we love positive vibes. That's great. Not, that not like the Mudkip evolution line, which just has to murder and slaughter all the time, apparently. When its neck give off a spicy aroma that Spicy? Up. I like the sound of that. Well, I, like the I sound am feeling so jazzed and just like ready for the day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm just like, so have much inner. I just like, I just have to come to home. I just have so much energy that I'm ready to go. Do you know what I mean? Ha, <laughs> rad. Everything is going super pleasantly. Nothing could possibly go wrong. I swear to God, if something bad happens to Meganium now, I'm actually going to be genuinely sad about this. Meganium, I just want it to be nice and happy. Ability to revive it revives dead, dead plants. plants. This can only go well. Is Necromancy so has only wholesome. ever went well. And my breath can revive dead plants and flowers? I mean, that's so it's good. It's be like the most wholesome thing of all. Oh. Wrong. Oh. We are wrong. Yep. Kill me. I was in heaven. Why am I returned to hell? Guy. Oh dear, no, 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 this is, moment is pain. This was, this is how the necromancy was supposed to go. What gives you the right to play God? Who's <laughs> right? It's just reviving dead plants and flowers. <laughs> Meganium has a Glock? What? <laughs> George, this is exactly what I don't want for the condo. Well, I mean, what do you mean, Giratina? You're literally Satan. But this this is exactly what you should want. I mean, uh, is that is that a little bit biased to me? Is that a little bit bigoted of me to assume that Giratina wants dead things? It, it might be. I just wanted a happy ending for the Chikorita line. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this it's this cell composition this can't be bad, surely. It turns invisible As and stuff, result, right? It can melt away into water. Wait, it melts. Come on, Vaporeon. Uh oh. You sir. It just melts. I love this fantastical world of. Oh my God. And it's gone. Vaporeon, where are you? Can you not see? I am all around you. I'm one with the sea now, endless and beyond the mortal coil. Goodbye. I knew I should have done so. Damn it! I spent all this money on a water stone and it just melted as soon as I put it in the water. Jolteon. Its weapons are its 10,000 volt electric attacks and its spiky fur. <laughs> there are two very different things here. 10,000 volt electric attacks or spiky fur, guys. I don't know. I might prick you if you touch me or 10,000 volt electric attacks. Sharp hair can pierce enemies when it bristles. All right, yeah, pin missile, whatever. Hey, Dr I didn't think that Drifloon was going to be in this video when I, I swear, God, I record like the little intro skits before I watch the video. So I've already done it, Lau. And I didn't know that Drifloon was going to be in this video. Also, Drifloon is super dead right now. Like, it's just got popped. Oh my God. Goodbye. I'm sorry, buddy. No. How do you kill a ghost? Where does it go now? Shuckle! Welcome to Double Hell. The hell for things that are already dead. Oh. Welcome to Hell Squared. It's like hell, except we added maths to it, so it's even worse! Oh no, I don't deserve this. You, you kidnapped a lot of kids. True. A lot of kids. True. Lot like of we, kids. Like we saw in the intro. Really, really fucked up. Yeah, messed up, dude. Kind of messed. I swear I didn't know that. I swear I didn't know. No one's gonna believe me. I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, Patters, it's sure, whatever. People are gonna comment, uh, yeah, Patters, I believe you, right? You're gonna comment that right now, eh? And while you're commenting that, you can check out my second channel. We upload every day on my second channel videos that you've never seen before, videos that you'll love. So go ahead and check that out. Fire that is over three thousand degrees. Ah, uh, it's only 3,000 Fahrenheit. That's not even a big deal. I'm pretty sure Celsius is more. Yeah, I mean, if it was 3,000 Celsius, then I'd be concerned. But Fahrenheit, psh, Fahrenheit's for little babies who like little baby temperatures. Hurry! Fire caused by a Pokemon. I know, the magma Station slug. Let's go. Ah, uh, no. A little bit on I'm the nose. I'm talking about one caused by a fire dog. Are you guys talking about the fire started by the Arcanine on 5th? Or the one started by the Ninetales on Main? Or is it the one on 8th with the... 
Tell Fox. This is what I'm saying, man. If Pokemon was real, everything would always be on fire. We were like, wow, would you, do you wish the Pokemon was real? I'm like, no. If Pokemon was real, I'd get stabbed in the heart by a Beedrill immediately. I'd be dead. I'd be, everyone would be dead. Everything would be on fire. Nothing would be good. Black holes, God of War. Hey, there's a lot of fire dogs starting fires out there. It was actually caused by a Flareon. But did you say magma slug before? That's a thing? Like a, a slug made out of magma? Oh yeah, yeah. I have one of those. It's super hot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, right. Yeah, good Slug job, guys. Are very hot, because they don't have good job, blood everyone. in their body. They have magma. Really nailing this fire and, uh, fire job, guys. Yeah, they cause fires. So Might need to maybe touch up your like resume. Maybe toys or something. That would make more sense for a firefighter. Yeah, what's up with that? Anyone interested in seeing a mag cargo? Bro, double the fire! Even better! What we got? Torchic. More starters? The fire burns inside, so it feels <sighs> very warm to hug. Wait, like in like its stomach or like its kidney, spleen? Here at KFC, it's even, that's it's even less impressive. Fire type chicken, we only serve the, the spiciest chicken sandwich there is. Introducing the Torchic Sandwich. The Torchic Sandwich, where there's an actual fire burning inside the sandwich. You'll bite into it and your mouth will be ablaze with flavor. Hmm, this is spicy. <sighs> too, too spicy. And you're dead. Oh god, it's 1800 degrees Fahrenheit in my tummy. Well, what the hell else are we supposed I'm to I'm trying to get my son? spice tolerance up, but this is me whenever I find anything remotely the spicy. Pokemon world, they're gone. Extinct. Replaced by their evolutionary superiors. Get used to it. Combusket. I want to be able to handle spicy food so badly. Cakes 10 cakes per second? Does, does it like count them? Foes. Oh no, it's just crying in the sound like. It's me, your old pal, Colonel <laughs> Sandtrews. We're back in, we're back in the KFC. If you thought our spicy tour chicken sand attack which was spicy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, don't make me go back in there. Combusket kicks 10 times per second. The rest of the kitchen staff is already dead. It kicks 10 times per second. I could count it while it was slaughtering my workmates. We live in hell, boy. We're at the goddamn bottom of the food chain now. I see flowers what shoot laser True. beams and dragons True. made of a sticky gulag substance. I do not we would wish be the bottom to of the food chain. Buy. Fire chickens shouldn't have surprised us, but by golly, did my wife and children look shocked when that blazer can done murder them. Are we not getting a Blaziken one, though? I feel like we're not getting a Blaziken, Blaziken. one. We're getting a Blaziken Blades one! From its wrists. Did we just get like a... a did I just get spoiled? Did we just get spoiled on what's gonna happen in this? Arceus, Colonel, that is dark. What's the story? Is, is that why you do this? To kill the torch chicks and combuskins before they turn into Blazikens? Some sort of strange revenge? Dude, some kind of like ethnic cleansing, like genocide? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is kind of messed up, man. No, son, I do it because my new fried chicken recipe is delicious. So it's get a very back in that reply. kitchen and batter up them combustion legs. Delicious. Canto fire type chicken. Fire if the type food don't Canto kill you fire or someone type chicken. You love, then we ain't doing it right. Torch Chicken Sand Attack, which only sold to participating Kanto Fire Type Chicken locations in fictional video game and anime worlds. Any injury sustained whilst consuming Kanto Fire Type Chicken products is the fault of its customers and their families shall be held liable for all damages to the premises and emotional distress caused therein. Miltank Frankfurt is available only for a limited time. Miltank Frankfurt, is that so delicious? Did you get the rest of that? Did you understand it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Trainer by shining its bright rainbow colored wings. What if they like blind the trainer though? What if they're pure hearted but like weak eyed and they go blind? <laughs> Hey, what's I up? Hobo, a legendary guardian of the sky, who only appears to the pure hearted. Brian, slave rat! He's not even paying huh? attention. What'd you say? I was busy yelling at my slave rat, who I make fight for profit in my own personal glory. This can't be yeah. right. A little bit sec, messed up, me isn't it? my human decks. Timmy, Timmy Jenkins. Timmy Jenkins. Timmy is a cruel, sadistic, sociopathic oh, trainer no. <laughs> who enslaves Pokemon and forces them to fight. What sort of old trainers? trainers. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. But he doesn't get weirdly knew mad it. at people who comment first on YouTube videos. 
making him the closest thing to a pure-hearted trainer there is. There are several uh, constants in life. Dare taxes and people trying to be first on a YouTube video. Who was first on this YouTube video? Go and give them a thumbs up and a heart if they were first. Oh wait, I I'm the one who give hearts. Go and give them a thumbs up and uh, a, a nice reply if they were first on this YouTube video. What a sad indictment of Pokemon trainers. But perhaps with my guidance, this child and I can forge a new path. No. No, he's really lost. Kinder, more gentle. Get in the ball, bird. Kinder, gentler sadism. Shoot, must already be a Pokemon in this one. Pidgey, Pidgey I'm free. No. Now, get in. Where does the, the kid ball, get a Glock from? Bird. Okay. okay Seriously? Man, be chill. I am going. Jesus Christ. It sleeps in a deep sea trench. If it flaps its wings, it is said to cause a 40 day storm. It's God? 40 days and 40 nights, wasn't it? Oh, Damn, man, maybe it's I basically God. I'm gonna be late to Kyle's soccer game. Uh oh. Maybe if I just no. fly a little bit. No, Lugia. Lugia, don't. Lugia, don't. Sorry, God damn it, Lugia! Lugia, you goddamn asshole. Lugia, you. 40 days! Fuck. Have you flap your wings again, motherfucker? Again? We got 40 goddamn days of this, come on! 40 days, like in the Bible. John over here is calling me Noah all of a sudden because I'm the only one with a fucking boat. And I don't like- My it. daughter's after a wedding is planned for Tuesday! What are you doing? This animation is a lot easier when you just like replay the same thing and then just like have voices in the background. <laughs> you, you piece of shit, bird! Guess we can kiss that deposit goodbye. Kyle sucks at soccer anyway! What do you, you even give a shit for? Yeah, the kid can't kick a ball for shit! Just oh. keeps going. <laughs> That's right, bird brain. We're gonna burn the shit out of everything. It will be so pure. It will be so pure. I'm super. Oh, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's that's a problem, actually. All right, if you guys did enjoy today's Dogly animation, make sure to subscribe to the main Dogly channel that's linked in the description. And like I said, guys, I post on my second channel every single day. If you're not subscribed there, you should go ahead and check it out. There's lots of videos over there that you will enjoy. Just go have a look. Just give it a chance, you know? There's probably a lot of stuff on there that you will find very entertaining and fun. But like I said, I do stream on Twitch every single day at 11 a.m. EST. If you're missing out on the streams, you're missing out on some great stuff, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because, you know, we're trying to... I have made up a goal of my own to try and surpass our subscriber number to Iceland's population. Iceland has a population of 357,000 people. I am trying to get more subscribers than Iceland has people. It's Pat versus Iceland, and you can help us get to that victory royale if you want to. You don't have to, I guess. But hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.